What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the light beacon attachment for the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. Out of the three attachments that come with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, I'd say that the light beacon falls somewhere towards the bottom of my list as my least favorite attachment, just because the speaker and the spotlight are so versatile, and they prove to have so many different use case scenarios. Now the light beacon does come in as the smallest accessory, weighing only 24 grams. While I'm at it, here are some of the other specs off of DJI's website for the beacon if you're interested. It's an insanely powerful light that blinks during the night for easy navigation and spotting. So the process to attach the light beacon to the Mavic 2 Enterprise is the same as the spotlight and the speaker. It can be done really quickly, which is nice for operators that are in a hurry and need to swap out attachments on the fly. On top of the drone is a small mounting area that has one micro USB port to deliver power to the light beacon itself, and it has two small screws to lock it into place. This ensures that it won't go anywhere even when the drone is flying at its top speed. Once connected, the home screen of the DJI Pilot app will recognize that the light beacon has been attached and when we head into the live view coming from the drone, there's a small button in the top left corner marked with the beacon icon that is now visible. Tapping this will quickly activate the light, but that's about all that you can do. Now, if you guys remember the previous videos I uploaded covering the other attachments for the Mavic 2 Enterprise, the spotlight and the speaker, both of them are highly customizable. You can change the percentage of the brightness for the spotlight or the loudness of the speaker, and you can also have customizable messages to send through that speaker. But one of my biggest problems with the light beacon is that all you can do is turn it on and off. I'd love to see them give us more functions. So for example, potentially sending messages through Morse code using that beacon of light. I think that'd be awesome for people who could potentially be stranded and need to signal for help. Also, flying during the day sometimes can require some further flight. So I'd love to be able to take advantage of this light beacon during the daytime, but that bright white light against the bright white sky really does make it easy to lose track of. And after you fly probably like a couple hundred feet away, you can't really see the light anymore. So I'd love to be able to actually change the color of that light to say green or red to make it a little bit more visible. Just to give you guys an example as I try to keep this drone in frame here is the beacon turned on at night. It's even brighter than the dual LEDs placed on the bottom to help the drone land in low light situations. Now trying to capture just how bright this light beacon is at nighttime, especially at a distance is tough as trying to keep focus on a tiny little light is incredibly frustrating, but I'm going to try to do my best at showing you guys just how it works, especially at further distance. Now I've got the bottom LEDs operating in the new nightlight mode, which is currently exclusive to the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So no matter which way I'm flying, I'll have some form of light source to look at. As you can see, those bottom LEDs are now blinking just like the light beacon would up on top. Anyway, getting on with our demonstration, here is the light beacon blinking at one mile out and the light is pretty much perfectly visible. Going out a bit further at a distance of two miles, we still have a great visual on the drone's location because of the light beacon. And finally, now pushing it out to three miles, we still are picking up the light beacon on the camera, although it looks a little bit faded. I can assure you though, in person, it is plenty bright. I barely noticed a difference between one mile and three miles using my own eyes, although I wasn't willing to push the drone out past three miles because I didn't want it going down in the water once this testing was over. So guys, that about wraps up this video regarding the light beacon. I'm sorry that it was so short, but there's really not all that much to touch on. I mean, with the speaker and the spotlight, there was so much to cover, but the light beacon just kind of emits a beacon of light. Now I could see this being very helpful in areas where the air traffic, I guess, is congested with a lot of helicopters and low flying planes. And if you're flying at nighttime, having that light will definitely let them know that you're in the area and they'll be able to see it from more than three miles away. So it's very helpful, but taking up that valuable attachment spot with say the light beacon, when you could put on a spotlight or a speaker kind of seems like a waste to me. So in the future, I'd love to see them one implement a little bit more use, I guess, out of the light beacon, like being able to send messages through Morse code. But I'd also love to see them just put it right on the drone body and not make it an actual attachment. It is so light. And I feel like if they just built it in, it could be more powerful and it could also be more helpful. Again, not taking up that valuable attachment spot on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. But guys, let me know what you think of the light beacon down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.